but Miss Clara they would not like take the paper and like okay go away no no Miss Clara would be like this you need to come here before class starts every morning and show it to me Hey guys, it's Angie, and we are here to talk about another story of my life. Um, this one is a little bit troubling, I would say. Well, just a little bit, but I'm gonna talk about the time when, um, back in middle school, we had a sex education class. The problem was we had a crazy lady for a teacher. Um, and when I say crazy lady, I, I, I just want to start from um, from one thing that will show you how crazy she was, which is um, we had a sex education class and obviously you didn't have to attend it. I attended it because I was, I was too awkward to tell my mom, listen, if you fill up this paper saying that you will teach me about sex then I don't have to go there um, I was too awkward to ask that and I actually am happy because of how the lady acted and I knew that my mom would take it to the level of going through it with me and I'm like I really didn't feel like talking with mom about this stuff at the age of 13 14 I don't think I, d I don't either right now, it's very awkward with your parents, you know, it's exceptionally awkward. But, um, I attended the class and I will say, I said I'm happy I didn't fill up this paper because, you know, the class was like first class ever on our, um, I think it was on Wednesday, like the longest day we ever had. It was the first class and basically if you were... Uh, if you didn't have to attend, you kind of have a free time, you could sleep in a little bit, but this didn't work with this lady. We call her Clara, because Miss Clara, is of co obviously it's not her real name, by the way, so don't have your things in a twist. But Miss Clara, they would not like take the paper and like, okay, go away. No, no, Miss Clara would be like this, you need to come here before class starts every morning and show it to me like the price for making students life even worse than it already is goes to Miss Clara because not only you had to come as early as ever you had to c come earlier to school uh, show the lady the freaking paper and then spent 45 minutes doing whatever I don't know it it wasn't fun I'm sure for those people and if you were like came to a, a bit too early or too late or when she already said hello to the class oh she would be mad oh she would yell at you like you killed her ma her husband she really would she was crazy she was crazy and to paint you a situation we had uh, so when I first started middle school we were all girls and we had three three boys in our uh, class and then they transferred from our class or school and there were only girls so there were only ladies and by the end of the first year when we didn't have sex education they transfer a guy to our class saying that uh, if he is around the ladies he might stop uh, bullying others and learn how to be a good person because you know girls are so good and cute and only boys do bad things, right? To my school. To my school for the thinking. We had some really nasty girls. Uh, we had a girl that said about another girl that she wished she could um, hold her throat, swing it, like, you know, squeeze it, swing it around and get the head 
out of her body. She literally said that. So, yeah, only, only boys are naughty and nasty. Like, why my school was so stereotypically a fool? I don't know. But that happened. So we had one boy in our class and all we are all ladies. And then we move on to the second year with that. And when we have our sex education, so first lesson was like so beautiful uh, because our Miss Clara told us that we as females will never develop properly because we cannot interact with men, boys, because we don't have them in our class. Oh, and that one point in our class, yeah, he will develop incorrectly too because he has too many girls around him. That was our first lesson that we will just, will not be real. Females, I'm not a real female, guys. I develop wrongly. Maybe that is the reason why my relationships were always shit. And I just can't get right. Maybe I, I maybe it's, it's inside, dancers inside me. I'm just, I have not fully developed as a woman. Which obviously is a bullshit. I hope you understand its irony. We had a lot of interaction with males from other classes, like, there was a class, there was only boys, what about them? We interacted with them, like, not that closely, of course, but we talked with them and, I don't know, Miss Clara was, Miss Clara was surfing. And then we get to my favorite part, like, I don't know who thought this was a good idea, but we had, like, some looking like from 80s kind of um, videos made by some people about growing up and they were you know what they were creepy as fuck <sighs> the most creepy thing is that, like you had this family where everything happened everything was explained and you explain and you think parents teachers yeah, no, 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 none of this. There was a friendly ghost who uh, looked like he's 40 that he was explaining to those kids and he was hugging them and he was really close with them and this took all the, all the levels of wrong because you knew like this is a totally like, you know, good ghost of a family but this look like completely um, an older guy who is complete stranger to those kids and he's treating them as if it's his kids it's uh, it's oh no please don't then there were like an amazing lessons to learn for example if you have a boyfriend in middle school don't hug him who oh, please never sit on his lap don't get too close to him like even a handshake might be able to close because boys are always horny in this age and he will only want to hurt you he will want to take advantage of you if you hack him i mean i see where this comes from like if you are too touchy and you know they're young and they're boys and you might want something more from you i understand where this is coming from but this was taken to the whole new degree of touching like even holding his hand was supposed to be be very careful with this be very very careful with this and obviously we had a lot about uh videos about um about how boys develop when they are in middle school because the lady was like you know you're all ladies you probably know how your body develops which like we know how it feels but we don't know all the details and that would be good to learn but no no she repeatedly just showed us videos of how boys develop and like half of them was how why and how boys would wet their beds when they are young and it was not fun to watch and she would like keep saying a lot of like oh really shitty things um like you know you're a girl you cannot play with cars 
and stuff like this because if you don't play with girly things, you will not develop as a female. Once again, I play with both girly and boyish things. I may, I don't know. I did not do her lessons to heart, so maybe that's why my relationship life is just <laughs> it's not in existence. I have a relationship with my trusty computer who hates me sometimes and my food. That is the life I live. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to talk about this because I thought it was kind of funny how wrong she was and how just. I have not learned anything from uh, that lesson uh, that she. Uh, that those lessons, like, besides the fact that I can hug my boyfriend and that boys keep wearing their bell when they are young, which I mean, it's. It's natural, I guess. I wouldn't like they can have anything against them. I think they might feel embarrassed about it, like with their family, but it's just a natural thing. I don't know why we had to hear about this almost every time. And she really liked to remind us that we will not develop as healthy young females. But anyway, this is my story today about my crazy sex ed teacher i hope you enjoy it <laughs> i hope you laughed a little bit because she was a crazy girl she was cray 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 so thank you everyone for watching i'll see you in my next video